What are a motor scooter and a gun doing in a shipping canal? And why was a skeleton discovered in a tree? If you want to know more what these and other incredible discoveries are all about, then you should definitely stay tuned until the end. Have you ever found something yourself in an extremely unusual place? Feel free to tell us in the comments below. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons to support us for free and never miss a video again. And now, let's get started. The Garbage Canal Oh yes, Paris, the beautiful city of love, the world-famous Eiffel Tower, the no less impressive Louvre await us here, and a lot of rubbish that has ended up in the Canal St. Martin in recent years. What normally embellishes the cityscape in a babbling way and is used for shipping should be drained in 2016 for thorough cleaning and thus bring the littered face of the French metropolis to light. But if you think the people just threw away empty bottles and old plastic bags down the 4.5 kilometer long canal, you've made a big mistake. The 40 tons of rubbish that ended up in the Canal St. Martin since it was last cleaned in 2001 included bicycles, scooters, a pallet truck, two wheelchairs, two empty safes, a pistol, and two grenades from World War I. In the face of these terrifying finds, which once again remind us of the frivolity of the people, the deputy mayor Salia Blau had no choice but to appeal to the common sense of the Parisians. According to this, the canal should no longer be misused as a wet garbage dump after the cleanup work has been completed. If everyone follows the rules, it might even be possible to go swimming in the Canal St. Martin in a few years. However, not every object that was ultimately thrown into the water should have been based on sheer laziness. For example, it is an open secret that the discarded scooters have a criminal background. Accordingly, these had been stolen in order to be used in other crimes. After the work was done, the gangsters quickly let the vehicles disappear into the canal. Murder in the Middle Ages in 2014, violent storms swept through County Sligo, Ireland. A 200-year-old beech tree also fell victim to the raging winds. But what was even sadder was the discovery that the uprooted tree then revealed. In the same breath, the mortal remains of a young man came to light, who must have been about 16 years old at the time of his death. Further investigations showed that we were not dealing with the modern murder victim, but with a dead man from the Middle Ages. While the bones have been dated to between 1030 and 1200 AD, the visible injuries left no doubt that the person had died a violent death. However, who crushed the youth's ribs and hand will probably forever remain a mystery of the past. Mysterious Stone Ball the news that archaeologists in Bosnia have uncovered a massive stone sphere weighing over 30 tons is impressive, but probably not a real sensation in and of itself. However, this changes when we realize that the discovery of the object can shake our entire worldview. In detail, the age of this find is estimated at several hundred thousand years. According to our current state of knowledge, our ancestors at that time were not even able to make such structures. As a result, Scientists are currently arguing vehemently about whether the sphere really has an artificial background. The Dead in the Tree True to the motto, the little ones need some fresh air, four boys decided on April 18, 1943 to visit the forests of their home in the English county of Worcester. It wasn't long before the tots came across a big old elm tree, or in the children's eyes, a natural climbing paradise that immediately wanted to be climbed and explored. After climbing up the branches, however, the boys noticed that the trunk of the tree was hollow on the inside and contained a human skull. The distraught children immediately ran home, whereupon their parents called the police. After the tree was felled, investigators recovered a complete skeleton of a female, still wearing one shoe and a gold wedding ring. Although the experts found that the woman had died an estimated 18 months ago, her identity simply could not be determined. Accordingly, the nationwide comparison with dental records and other forensic investigations simply did not match. To this day, we do not know who the dead woman in the tree was and how she got there. In this regard, only the mysterious graffiti that kept appearing in the city in the years that followed could help us. However, the question, who put Bella in the witch elm, should not be answered yet. 
meteorite in the front yard. As a man slept peacefully in his home in England, he was suddenly jolted out of his dreams by a loud crash. Of course, the sleepy resident could not have guessed that a small meteorite had just fallen from the night sky and hit his driveway. He didn't come to this unexpected realization until the next morning. He then began collecting the individual meteorite fragments to take to a nearby museum. In fact, this was the first time a space rock had been recovered in the UK since 1991. The analysis showed that the Vorgotten meteorite was a so-called crondite. With a proportion of over 85%, this is the largest meteorite class. Snake Legs Normally, the words snake and legs do not appear in the same sentence, but that changes when we look at the sensational fossils that researchers found in Brazil some time ago. In fact, it is no less than the first known four-legged snake in history. Despite the limbs, Tetrapodophus amplectus exhibits all other features that clearly identify it as a prehistoric snake. Most likely, however, the snake's legs were not used for locomotion, but rather for holding prey or mating partners. This interpretation also gave the fossil its official name, which loosely translated means something like four-legged hugger snake. The fossilized remains may embody the previously missing link between snakes and lizards. Eel in the Nose A few years ago, the Hawaiian Monk Seal Research Program published a photo of a pitiful monk seal with an eel up its nose. In fact, such incidents should also be observed in the past, even if the scientists have absolutely no idea what the bizarre nose visits were all about. They do seem to follow a kind of pattern. The eels are always stuck in the right nostril of the seals. Monk seals are known to hunt prey on or near the sea floor. The photographed seal may have encountered an eel that, in an act of desperate self-defense, rammed its way into the attacker's nostril and got stuck in it. P-Lung When we hear the term P-Lung that I just came up with, one would think that it means a person with a particularly weak condition. In truth, however, this funny name has a much more serious origin. Ron Sveden had been struggling with severe breathing problems for some time. After the coughing fits and shortness of breath became more and more extreme, the elderly gentleman found himself in the hospital. The x-ray examination that was then carried out showed how serious the situation really was. The left lung of the 75-year-old had collapsed, and there was a mysterious object in it. But luckily in misfortune, it wasn't a malignant cancer growing in Ron's body but a pea plant. The pea probably ended up in his lungs because when it was eaten, it ended up in the trachea instead of in the esophagus. However, Ron was not unsettled by this incident. After the plant, which was over a centimeter long, had been removed, he said with a smile that he was already looking forward to the next pea dish. Nail in the Head a story from the That Can't Happen category. When Dante Atullo was once again busy in his workshop, a shot went off from his nail gun. Surprised that he couldn't find the nail anywhere, he happily went about his work again. What Dante didn't know at the time was that he just shot himself in the head. The then 34-year-old only noticed the next day that something was wrong when he felt a certain nausea. It was thanks to a plea from Dante's girlfriend, Gail, that he went to the emergency room. When the doctor showed him the images of the nail in his skull a little later, the unlucky raven still believed that the doctors were playing a nasty joke on him. A successful emergency operation and then the realization that Dante had only escaped death by a hair's breadth later. The amateur craftsman also realized that he should take better care of himself next time. Terrifying Basement Find after a college student moved into a small house in New Mexico that his parents generously bought for him, he kept hearing a strange rattling under the floorboards at night. With a good deal of courage and further investigation later, it was clear that the young man was by no means the only one living in the building. Accordingly, he discovered a hidden door in the pantry that led straight to a secret basement. Inside was a desk, a working lamp, and most alarmingly, a cigarette butt that was still smoking. Oddly enough, he was never able to get hold of his mysterious roommate. From that day on, the noises in the night fell silent. Underground Railroad Room 
A woman from Pennsylvania always felt that there was something a little bit off about her house. The home was purchased by her parents in 1974 and was the home she grew up in for much of her life. When her family members began to pass away and her father decided to move out, the house was placed in this woman's name and she moved in. It was during the process that Alexandra discovered something truly shocking. The basement of her home had another level that had been buried below it that was used as the Underground Railroad a series of tunnels and escape routes used by slaves in the 1700s and 1800s. Alexandra said she had her suspicions about the home ever since her neighbor informed her father years ago that there was a quote, basement under his basement. It was until 30 years later, when plumbing issues arose in the home, that the basement flooring had to be dug up to gain access to the pipes which revealed access to the large underground tunnel system. The system is currently being blocked off by a large cement wall, which means that it cannot be accessed without threatening the foundation of Alexandra's home. But it's still incredible to see that this tunnel system survived after nearly 200 years of being unused. An Uninvited Guest Do you think you know your home like the back of your hand? Well, here's a case that might set you straight. After hearing strange noises and open drawers in their apartment, residents of a dorm room at Ohio State University thought something supernatural was going on. Ultimately, however, it should turn out that the uninvited visitor has no paranormal background. But that doesn't really make the story any less scary. On the contrary, after an intensive search, the students discovered a secret room in the basement, hidden behind a door that they had taken for an ordinary closet all along. In the hidden room, they found a double bed, books, and photographs. Apparently, all these things belonged to a certain Jeremy, who had been hiding in the flat the whole time. The residents immediately changed the locks and left a note for Jeremy, saying he was no longer allowed to live there. Inexplicable Recordings who knows what the previous tenants did in your new apartment? Well, one Reddit user found out. Well, a disturbing part of it anyway. On the internet, he shared the recordings of a small passage that he discovered in the basement of his new home. After squeezing through a cramped package, he found himself in a tiny room containing nothing but a briefcase and a safe. Inside the vault, he again found heaps of cash, watches, and most frighteningly, a series of videotapes with disturbing captions. One cassette was decorated with the words, no, 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 no. The tenant then handed his fines over to the police. However, it is unknown what findings the investigation revealed. Disturbing Message It's 2005 when Jason and Carrie Brown want to make their newly bought home a comfortable home. While the two were renovating the building, to their own amazement, they discovered a secret room that had been slumbering behind a hinged bookshelf. In this room, the new homeowners found a message from the previous owner, but it had no good news to deliver. This is what the letter said. Hi, if you're reading this, you found my secret room. I lived here for a short time, but as it turns out, the house has a serious mold problem. This was so big that my children got very sick and we finally had to move out. The previous owner left his email address in case the new residents want to know more about the problem. For Jason and Carrie, however, the deal was immediately clear. They packed their bags and sued the realtor, who had knowingly not told them about the mold problem. What are your thoughts on the amazing discoveries and stories we just shared with you? As always, let us know your thoughts, suggestions, and feedback on today's post in the comments below. Please leave us a like and subscribe so you never miss one of our videos again. Finally, why not take a look at other exciting videos of our channel, which you can access by clicking one of the pictures in the end credits now. And with that, thanks for watching, have a good one, and see you next time.